<laughs> I'm going to tell you a scary story that I experienced. Maybe it's not that scary to y'all, but to me, it's pretty freaky. I've never experienced this in my life. I think this kind of relates to ghosts. I'm not sure, but uh, it all starts. Um, I was working at Whataburger at the time and I was fingerboarding, like I'll try to put up a picture right here. I was fingerboarding and I would bring my fingerboard everywhere I would go. So I was, I just got out of work out of Whataburger. It was around like 10 o'clock. I got out like at 10 o'clock. I was uh, playing with my fingerboard and I was waiting for my food, right? And so I stopped playing with my fingerboard because my food was ready. So I went to go grab my food. And so once I grabbed my food, I realized I didn't have my fingerboard. I was like looking for it after I got my food. I was like, I just had it. I just had my fingerboard. And mind you, my fingerboard cost me around a hundred between $130, $180. At the time, I was very passionate about fingerboarding. I still am, but not as much as I was like before. Um, so I was going crazy. So I looked all over the restaurant to look for the fingerboard. I asked all my friends to see if anybody picked it up, right? So I check my truck, because I think I thought I left it in my truck or something. I couldn't find it in my truck. So I went to my house. I went to my house in my truck and I could not find it there at my house. Like I was like, what the heck? It's not at my house. And I was checking the streets on the way back to work. I was looking at the streets. I, w I was going crazy looking for this fingerboard. I could not freaking find this fingerboard. I was going insane. And so I, I come back to Whataburger I'm like, crap, it's not home. It's not here at Whataburger. Where is it? Like, so I'm assuming someone stole it, right? So like, once I came to the conclusion, my fingerboard is lost officially, right? So like, I had a horrible night. I was really hard on myself. So the next morning, I wake up, right? Still in a kind of bad mood, right? And I, I go to my truck, and my fingerboard is on top of my truck. I had a two box in the back of my truck and my fingerboard was chilling on the, it was chilling on the tool box. Like it wasn't upside down. It was like on the wheels. And I was like, how does this make any sense? Like I'm so like, that's the, that's what freaks me out that I woke up the next morning and my fingerboard was on my truck. Mind you guys. When I lost my fingerboard, I drove back and forth to go to my house and to work after I lost after I I lost it. Like I went back and forth to my truck. So meaning my fingerboard would have fell off in the process of me going to the to my apartment. Like it my fingerboard should have been on that truck that morning. It shouldn't have been there. So, so like, did it appear, did my fingerboard appear there that morning or did someone steal it from me and then planted it there that morning? I don't know. Like still to this day, I do not know how my fingerboard, did, how my fingerboard ended up on my toolbox in the back of my truck. Again, uh, mind you, I drove back and forth to my house. My fingerboard should have fell off because it, it has wheels and it roll, it'll roll off. So like, that's pretty freaky, right? Like, like what the, like, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Like, ugh. like it either appeared there. I know I'm saying this again. It appeared there. Or someone put it there and they never told me they took it or anything. I don't know. That's my spooky story. Hopefully you understood of what the hell I was saying. But yeah, that's my spooky story. And, uh, and I still think of that story to this day. I still think about it. Like, like what the fudge?
That is freaky. When when I saw that, when I saw that fingerboard on the back of my truck, I was speechless. I was very speechless. I did not know what to think. I did not know what to think at all. I was low-key kind of scared and freaked out. I don't know. I was just happy I got my fingerboard. It, it was just weird that the fact that my fingerboard was on the back of my... Someone had to put it there or it just appeared there. Obviously, stuff doesn't just appear in real life. So I think. I don't know. You... We don't know. No one knows unless someone tells me in the comments and they still know me and they planted it there. Maybe it was my mom. I don't know. I do not know. I still to this day, I do not know. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'll see y'all later. Um, but that was my spooky story. Do this.